The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis? Sorry about the voice, folks. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm feeling great, but sounding bad. Jeff Huge will be our guest from Alpha Insights today. Monday is Norm Winsky. Tuesday will be an open day, I believe. And then Wednesday, we're going to have uh, Jim Bartoglioni. And he's got a great book out, folks, a picture book with really great stuff about metaphysical things and charts. And then on Thursday, uh, Believe it on Thursday or Friday, we're supposed to have Joe Dinopoli, and that's just the non-political version. He'll just be talking about the markets, or he'll be, uh, we'll head the little red button and make him ejected. <laughs> anyway, we'll hope to have Joe on. He's been a friend for 50 years, and he certainly understands Fibonacci. Okay, now I would like to mention to you folks, I posted the chart here in the den just a little while ago when they opened the show showing the S&P. This went out Sunday night. And we were looking for the market to come down to the 4634 level. The low so far today has been 4661, which was the 78% retracement. But the market appears that it's weakening a little bit. It might close badly. That means we'd be looking for markets to rally sometime early in the week is what I would be expecting if, in fact, this pattern unfolds the way that it's gone so far. That doesn't mean that it's going to do that. But it just might do that, so we'll be able to see it. I will like to mention, folks, I've been doing these charts for a very, very long time. And seldom have I seen so much bullish enthusiasm like I've seen for the crude oil complex, folks. It's every single channel that you want to watch on. I mean, whether it's CNBC or Bloomberg, they're all talking about the reduced supplies, the increased demand, the war in Ukraine, Russian cutbacks. Saudi cutbacks. I mean, it's one bullish thing right after another. And here I am looking at this pattern, which is a perfect A, B, C, D, uh, three drive to a top pattern that is so symmetrical that you can't even believe it. But, you know, when it got to 84.75, that was the 1.618 expansion on the daily basis. Now, Market's still strong today. It's still strong in gasoline. It's still strong in heating oil. So it might be one of those times where the pattern doesn't work because that happens a lot. But we do look like we're getting ready to have a bottom sometime early in the week. And all it'll be is a nice little rally to get short, folks, because we've got a major top came in here just recently. And you want to be ready to get on that horse and ride it. Uh, we've been short some gold. Been really good to us. Uh, we've been short stocks, which has been good to us, short the euro that's been good to us. And today we had a beautiful buy signal in wheat. And so far that has held up, but we'll have to wait and see. So we'll have Jeff on here at the first break, which will be in about seven minutes. But I wanted to cover one other question that someone asked, and that was about the uh, silver market long term. Folks, I, I firmly believe that silver someday before I go to that big casino in the sky will hit $100 because once we close above 50 to $55 an ounce, and I think we will, then that means there's nothing but green grass and blue sky above that, let me tell you, because there's just no resistance. It's hit it three times in its lifetime between 50 and 55. And so that if we get above it the next time, that could be the one that would uh, really make it uh, – run and run and run but that is a long way away from where it is right now right now we're looking at a gold market that has a profit objective just under 1900 in the december gold we're trading right around 1946 today we had a nice sell signal another sell signal uh in it at 1951 today and then also we had one two days ago in 1962 and both of those made a nice uh uh, Twelve to fifteen hundred dollar profit, but they're swinging good, and that's what you like to see in these really volatile markets. You don't have to close your eyes; you just look at the charts, try to pick it out. I, when I watch these things every day, folks, it just totally amazes me 
why people don't see it is the way that I see it, because I see it pretty clearly. The trouble is sometimes uh, you might not think it's as clear as you might want it to be. So we're going to be watching this here very closely here before the end of the day. But we've got the gold trading at 1947 right now, and the profit objective on that uh, is at 1943. We got down to 44 just a little while ago. So we've got to stop and break even on that, and we're waiting to see what happens. The market that's under a great deal of pressure, folks, we're down three handles in two days in the Treasury bonds, and, tr and the notes are doing the same thing. They're just a flying Walinda to the downside. And that's where the real problem lies, because interest rates are going to be going higher. And uh, I don't know if that means anything for uh, what's happening in the stock market, but usually when stocks uh, have higher interest rates, uh, uh, oh, yeah, okay, Jacob, I'll be happy to do that. And uh, we'll, we'll see what we got going here. If you have any questions, don't send them in, because Al just told me that the lines are backed up on the board so bad that he has to wear sunglasses. They're flashing so much. So let's try not to send any more you know, questions in today. Because Al has getting what we call light blindness in the radio uh, parlance of uh, communications. I just made all that up, but it sounded pretty good. Like most of the stuff, I just make up. But one thing I don't make up, folks, is control your risk and ABCD. Those were the words from Dr. David Paul when I first met him 10 years ago. And uh, I introduced him to Mark Douglas, and they became friends. Of course, it was hard not to be a friend to either one of those guys because those guys were a class act all the way. Okay, let's move on here to one other question someone did ask, and it's about trading penny stocks. Yes, the patterns and ratios work on penny stocks. I've seen it over and over again. People have asked me questions. Penny stocks is anything under a dollar. And so, but it does. It follows the same patterns just like anything else does. So all you've got to do is to find what that pattern is and go with it. That's that's all I do. I mean I don't do anything I don't do anything fancy. I'm a simple A B C D guy. I know one thing, I know how to do that well, and that's my edge, and I'm sticking to it. I can't tell you what's gonna to happen tomorrow, but guess what, boys and girls? There's not one dude out there or do that that can. So focus on what you got to risk and you're gonna be all right. That's the bottom line of what we're paying attention to here today at uh, TFNN. The, uh, my, I've had terrible problems this whole week with the email. It's all fixed now. Everything seems to be working nicely. And I got my fingers crossed and I'm knocking on wood. And so we're going to find out if it's going to work over the weekend. I'll get the uh, newsletter out again on Sunday, just like I usually do. But we've got some really active markets coming, folks. So be prepared for them because when we see some of these rallies coming, they're going to just literally come out of absolute nowhere. And you're going to be sitting there saying, shut the front door and raise the rent because they're going to be big. And the same thing on the downside, when those comes, those are going to be big too. So you can't have all everything, but you want to have something. So be sure you take care of your losses. Your profits will take care of themselves because if you don't take care of your losses, you're in big, big trouble. That's where I lost all my money, folks, by not taking care of the losses. Profits are going to be there, but the losses, you got to take care of your heirs, okay? I mean the heirs, you know, the mistakes you make. And we're going to be right back with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, folks, so stay tuned. Candlestick Pattern Analysis is a primary tool among successful traders, and you should be no different. Candlestick Patterns can demystify buy points, sell points, general price movement, and so much more. At 4 p.m. on Monday, August 14th, trader Teddy Kekstat will be hosting a live, hour-long webinar on Japanese candlestick patterns. Teddy, the author of the Tiger Forex Report, has been trading for 33 years, and candlestick patterns have been instrumental to his success. For just $97, see how to use candlestick patterns to analyze stocks and options in order to capitalize on market swings, increase your odds of success, and decrease your risk. During this live webinar, you will learn when to use and when not to use Japanese candlestick patterns in this volatile market. Dispel the myths about this strategy and see just how much the mastery of candlestick pattern recognition can impact your trading. Visit TFNN.com today. TFNN. 
Educating Investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN Education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. We've got none other than Mr. Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights on the line today. Jeff, excuse my voice, but I was not even going to do the show today, but I knew I had you on the list, and I wanted to listen to you anyway. So uh, let's start off with the long rates poised for a long rally, and boy, the bonds are dropping like a rock. So this looks like it started. Yeah, it sure does, Larry. And uh, hey, thanks a lot for having me on the show, and I appreciate you coming in today and uh, suffering through your laryngitis. Um, with respect to uh, long rates, we see a classic pattern base formation of the inverted head and shoulders variety resolving above the 420 level here. Uh, and uh, if in fact we can get above that level, I think it could project 10-year uh, bond yields up to around five, five and a half percent. We've got a, you know, a, a target of 495 to be precise is our initial move to the upside here and a stretch target of 540. I don't think it would be, uh, um, you know, out outrageous to suggest that we could reach these levels sometime in the next 12 months. Wow, that's uh, truly amazing to see that rates could actually go to that level. I mean, I no one's even expecting that, but they, they've been there before, but that was in the history books when I was a young whippersnapper. Let's take a well, look Well, what's interesting, here. Larry, is that it's, um, it's normal for the yield curve to have a positive slope, and right now that slope is inverted. And so just if the 10-year bond yield would get above that 5.5 that level would be higher than T-bills, and that would turn the, the slope of the yield curve positive again, I think most of the bulls expect the short rates to go down. The Fed's told us that's not going to happen. So I think the, the, the curve is going to uninvert, basically, and, and we're going to get that positive slope again, and it's going to happen by long yields going higher. Wow, that's really, truly made. Now, what do you mean by the honeymoon is over on this next chart? <laughs> well, you know, we've had this long period here of, of declining volatility over the last year or so. And, um, you know, if I take a look at, you know, uh, this this chart, which, you know, it juxtaposes the skew index above the VIX index. Both of these have to do with the options market. The CBOE skew index uh, really okay. kind of measures the difference between puts and calls. And, you know, a normal distribution would be 100. OK, so when the skew index is 100, that's normal. 
When it's above that level, that means they're buying more calls than they are puts, basically. That's just to kind of put it in very simple terms. It's just the, the skew of the volatility curve has changed. And uh, when we get up to that kind of level of around 140, 550%, that means it's completely out of whack. And, and you know, they've actually called this the black swan indicator. When we get up to that level, you know, the, the odds of a black swan type of event uh, jump from around 2% to around 15%. And uh, we've been up there for some time, and now it looks like the skew is reversing to the downside, which suggests that we're starting to get some risk pricing into the market. People are starting to buy puts again, right? And that suggests that, you know, real uh, wise investors out there are starting to recognize some problems. And uh, one of those problems today is the fact that the uh, NASDAQ 100 index just broke its 50-day moving average. And that was a level that the bulls had been hoping would hold, and it hasn't. If we look at the bottom of this chart, it's the VIX index. And we see the VIX was down below its 2021 lows. It actually uh, was really suppressed down there uh, in the 13% range, and that is reversed. And and what we can say about both VIX and SKU is they've broken their trend lines, respectively. SKU had a rising trend line. That broke yesterday. Uh, you know, the VIX had a descending trend line. That broke a week and a half ago. And uh, it appears to me that these alligator jaws are poised to snap shut as mm-hmm. SKU goes back to normal around 100 and, uh, and the VIX rises up to, you know, at least its prior highs in the mid-30% range from where we are today at around 15.5%. That's a pretty big move. And that would suggest equity prices are going significantly lower. Wow. I know. I love these charts. Boy, you explain them so clearly. I, I want to really give you an acc- acc- accolades for doing this because I see a lot of charts from people, but uh, yours are just very, very... Uh, easy to understand for my so I don't understand some of them, but most of them are just really spot on on uh, you know what I'm listening to as far as uh, in the news and stuff, but you're 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 giving an indication that sometimes these guys that are doing the news have no idea what they're talking about. and I, I that's think that sure <laughs> has a lot to do with it too. Let's take a quick look here at the next one and uh, bear with me here for a second here because I'm uh, doing the best I can with my voice here. so, what is uh, the uh, – oh, this – I know what – I've seen this one before. This is the advisors are just really in love with stocks, that's for sure. They are. You know, this is uh, Investors Intelligence, which is a service that's been around for almost 50 years now. And uh, the guy who runs it, Bill Gray, uh, he reads all these newsletters and, uh, he, you know, he mm-hmm. basically takes this survey data – and, you know, to- pulls it and puts together these uh, these results. And what we're looking at here is the black line is the four-week moving average of, of bullish advisors divided by both bullish and bearish advisors. So they're taking the sum of advisors that are expressing a view, and they're looking at the bulls as a percentage of that. And if we take a look at the green lines, which are the green bars, that's the S&P 500 going back, mm-hmm. you know, a year and a half or so, at the January all-time highs, um, we were actually at around 71.8% bulls as a percentage of bulls and bears. Today, it's 754 We haven't even made a new high yet, yet the bullishness amongst advisors has exceeded what it was at the all-time highs. And just to put that in perspective, when we were at the October lows, the bulls got down to around 40%. So we've seen a dramatic increase in, uh, you know, uh, bullish advisors. And when I say advisors, these are the guys that are that are presenting wow. their material in, in research format, whether it be a newsletter or Wall Street research or what have you. Uh, they, they take all of this together, aggregated amongst hundreds and hundreds of advisors that are publishing. And most of them are overwhelmingly bullish and more bullish than they were at the top. Oh, great. This next next chart absolutely blew me away, Jeff. I haven't seen a chart of the value line in probably two years. I didn't even know they still well, had that index. Yeah, you know, that's been around for many, many moons. And oh, the data goes I, back I, to 1960. I, I started looking at that in the 60s. I remember that's for sure. So yeah. please, this, and, this and one so, that, that's incredibly bearish compared to the S&P or the NASDAQ chart. Well, and what is it telling you? Let me let me point this out. The value line geometric index is, is the weighted average, okay, the geometric weighted average 
of 1,700 stocks uh, in the U.S. Those 1,700 stocks account for over 90 percent of the revenues generated in in you know business today of, of all public companies, right? And so what we're looking at here is that we haven't even recovered above the February 2nd high yet uh, in terms of the average stock. And what's interesting about geometric is it, the typically when you look at an average stock price move, it's, it's the weighted average, right? This looks at the median price uh, change every single day. And so, you know, half or above, a little bit more representative of uh, what's going on in the market that really uh, published in the major averages. Okay, we got to take a break here. We'll be right back with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, folks. Please stay with us. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years of experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, back, folks, with the Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, and we're going to talk about the Elliott Wave analysis. Continue, please, my uh, friend. Sure. So, uh, you know, what we've done, Larry, is we've uh, put our primary degree uh, Elliott Wave analysis for the S&P 500 up in front of you. This uh, looks back about the last 20 months to uh, January of uh, 2022. And you can see the all-time high on January 4th, 2022. Uh, we marked that as a super cycle top. And so we're looking for a very long, drawn-out 
uh, decline that could carry the S&P down to substantially new lows. And it's been a very confusing process from that high to where we are today. And just so your viewers know, we're at the exact same level we were two years ago on the second Friday of August. That was August 13th, uh, 2021, with the second Friday in August wow. two years ago. Here we are. We're at the exact same level today. Um, so basically, the market's done nothing for two years. And, um, you know, people are extremely overwhelmingly bullish, as I pointed out before. And, you know, one of the things that, that's curious to me is that, you know, we had this, this strange decline. It happened in five waves, but it wasn't the traditional impulse uh, decline. It was actually a leading, expanding diagonal. And I had to go through a number of textbooks, and I finally found a chart in a textbook uh, called the Elliott Wave Principle, written by uh, uh, uh uh, Robert Prechter and uh, A.J. Frost back in 1978. And it's a classic textbook that describes the Elliott Wave Analysis uh, Protocol. And there's this pattern that's basically unusual because Wave 4 has the ability to go into the area of Wave 1. It's the only Elliott Wave pattern that allows that. And this leading expanding diagonal is exceedingly rare, but we saw one trace out. And there have been a couple other characteristics about this that have been interesting, like, you know, the final fifth wave that ended in uh, October of uh, 2022 was a truncated fifth wave. And the only time you really see that is when you get this uh, strange, unexpected news item, which was the CPI report then uh, that surprised everybody. And so we ended up having a somewhat of a truncation to that, that wave pattern. And it made it difficult to really identify this for what it was until after we could really see the whole picture. And it took us until really July 27th to see that. The recovery off that October low traced out a standard zigzag, which is exactly what you'd expect to follow a leading diagonal based on the textbook pattern. The only thing that was unusual about it was the fact that wave B traced out a flat uh, wave. And that threw us for a bit of a loop because we thought for sure with the banking crisis, things were going to careen lower. But when the Fed threw another log on the fire, you know, 400 or $500 billion in liquidity, it, it perked the markets right back up again and we took mm -hmm. off. And what we've seen since is we've seen this kind of extended fifth wave and an extended fifth of a fifth. And so those were two unusual characteristics that made it difficult for us to, um, you know, identify the terminal point of this pattern. It was very elusive. But come July 27th, we could see the end of all of that come together. And the gap down that we saw that followed uh, looks very, very mm -hmm. ominous to us. It looks to us like we've begun uh, the initial stages of a third wave decline at primary degree, which we believe will carry the S&P 500 down to new bear market lows that will substantially uh, exceed the October low to the downside. Jeff, I have a question. Uh, you do stocks. Mm -hmm. I don't do stocks at all. But the Magnificent Seven that they talk about, I mean, I, I saw I saw numbers that it was like uh, – in the S and P 500, it was like it was like two thirds of the whole thing was just those seven stocks. Is is that well, about good? a third? Yeah, it's actually about 29 percent at their peak, and uh, that's actually shrunk a little bit because some of the big names like Apple and Microsoft are down 11, 12 percent off their highs. Mm -hmm. Well, that's unusual given the fact that the news is so bullish about all that stuff. I mean, everybody that you talk to, even in the poker tables, they talk about artificial intelligence. You know, and if you ever play poker right. with some of these guys, they certainly have artificial intelligence. I can tell you that. <laughs> present company, well, you know, present company included. The other thing that's really interesting to me, Larry, about this chart is there's a bunch of open chart gaps. And as you probably know, being a trader for almost 50 years now, um, those gaps have a tendency to get filled. And yeah. when I look down at, uh, you know, we're kind of testing the lower boundary of a gap. That gap support, if it breaks... Uh, we threw a level out there that we think is important. It's a specific level to the cash index of S&P 4438. If we can close below that level, that opens up a, a quick move down to the next gap level, which is around 4240, 4250. And if we break through that level, we should go all the way down to 4000 to fill the next gap. And Ooh. that will take out all the trend lines. 
uh, including the 200-day moving average, and also basically invalidate any bullish count that we could possibly come up with and set us into motion for this third wave decline, which I think will be somewhat epic in terms of its proportions. Uh, Jeff, uh, regarding gaps, the only gap that I think of is because, you know, I'm a friend of Peter Leidy's for many years, and Peter used to keep these charts by hand on a – and it was incredible. It must have weighed 40 pounds because he had like 50 years in it. But the only uh, gap that we can find was on January of 1991 when Desert Storm happened on that Wednesday night, on that Thursday morning. You know, everything, you know, gold was down $25. Uh, crude oil had dropped $11 a barrel from 42 to 30 and it was on its way to $11. And the market gapped up 2% that day in the Dow Jones, and that's the only gap that I can ever remember that's never been filled. And that was back in 91, January of 91, and the new moon, of course. But uh, I don't, you know, I'm just giving the information that I've looked at before, but that's the only one that I can see that has not been filled. I mean, some of these things takes several years to fill, but I can't find any unfilled gaps on just about anything. Yeah, we, we believe that all the unfilled gaps will be filled before this bear market's over, and it might even include that one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're like a magnet for prices yeah. eventually. 91, you're talking 30 32 years ago, you're going to go below. Well, that could happen. There's no question about it. There's just uh, when you see these things happen this way, uh, when they do start, they don't have any prisoners to the downside. We're going to come up here yeah. to a little bit, a little bit of a break here. But when we come back, I want you to go over some of the things that you offer the folks uh, with your monthly newsletter and some of the other services that you have, because, uh, folks, this guy's got a really good program here. He's, he's a first class guy. He's uh, and I'm not just saying as a person, but the material that you show is very easy to understand. And you've been pretty right along the way. I mean, this last month or so when that big up move came, you uh, stayed, you, you stayed your ground. And now it's showing that, yep, looks like this is what's actually happening. So my hat's off to you because of that. You said don't do any buying up in here and uh, certainly saved a lot of people a lot of money because a lot of these stocks didn't go up. I mean, they're, they were just rolling over. So whether that means much or not, we'll have to wait and see. So we've got to pay a few bills here. And when we get back, I want to talk to you more about, you know, what you have to offer and uh, some of the things that you do. Now, how many people do you have on your staff, Jeff? Uh, there's about four of us here. Okay, great. All right, we're going to be right back with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, folks. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. And, Jeff, tell the folks I posted your uh, picture of your newsletter with those cute little pictures. Where do you get those cartoons, by the way? <laughs> well, I, I borrow those from the folks at Hedgeye. Uh, there's a okay. fellow by the name of Bob Rich there who uh, does these cartoons. He's, he's quite uh, brilliant, actually. They sure are. They look really in base. I'll tell you a funny story off the it was I was at Drexel um, many, many years ago, back seventy eight I believe, and Charles Schultz came in, you know, the cartoon for uh Sure, yeah, He's and he actually, I, I, I've got it right over here. I, I, I can't get, reach it right now, but he, he did me a thing with soybeans and corn. He did it right there in my desk here, and I, I still have it. This is actual copy of it because I keep the original. My kids have that, but uh, he was a really nice guy. He did it about five minutes, you know. He said, uh, he says, oh, you think you know something about corn? He says, well, now you're ready for the big market. Try soybeans. <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, that's what I was looking at at that time. So anyway, uh, tell the folks more about your letter here, Jeff, and how they can reach you. Sure. Well, you know, as, as a matter of fact, Larry, uh, this is our two-year anniversary of publishing Huge Insights, The Big Picture, which is our uh, monthly in investment newsletter. It's uh, We call it The Big Picture because we basically we cover all of the top-down macro sort of inputs and, and, and data points that are driving the economy and driving the stock market here in the U.S. We also go into a geopolitical uh, analysis as well. And uh, for our paid subscribers, uh, we give uh, a very detailed market analysis. And uh, then we go through our positioning and recommendations. And, um, you know, so the first macro part is actually free. And then if you want to get the, the full in-depth analysis on the market, and stock ideas and, and trading advice and positioning, upgrade to paid. And we're actually running a promotion just because of this two-year anniversary celebration. We've never done this before, but we're giving 20% off on the first year. Uh, so you can either subscribe by the month. Uh, we normally charge $25 for that, so you'd get it for $20 a month. Or you can buy an annual subscription that's normally $150. You can get that for $120. That actually gets it down to, uh, I believe, $10 a month. And so it's a really good value. Uh, you save 50% uh, by, by you know, effectively um, doing the annual subscription. But, um, you know, I think it's a pretty good publication. I mean, we're ranked uh, in the top 200 on Substack now. Uh, so it's been very My successful. Substack, We've got a lot of subscribers, over 6,000. And um, wow. our next publication is actually set for September 2nd. So, uh, you know, I'll just let you know that. The other thing we do, Larry, is um, we do a weekly uh, piece called Alpha Insights Idea Generator Lab. And that's usually for just for institutional um, clients. But if you're a paid subscriber to the newsletter, you also get that as our top actionable trade idea of the week and also give some midweek market analysis and, and sector analysis. And then we also do some periodic interim bulletin reports and a quarterly video that we send out to all of our paid subscribers as well, which is usually 
a recorded version of some keynote address that I've given at uh, at a conference or something to that effect. And so wow. I think there's a lot of value to the subscription for ten dollars a month. Yeah, that's the cost of a hot dog in Switzerland. If only you eat half the hot dog, because it's real expensive over there. Uh, Jeff, <laughs> I'll ask another question from you, and that is: sure. uh, Do you, do you do any uh, you know long presentations, like uh, all full day presentations, or you or usually short term presentations? Well, you know, I, I go to a lot of conferences. I'm a speaker at conferences very frequently, mm -hmm. and they're usually you know, 40 minute uh, time slots that they give me to kind of present a full investment case. Um, you know, what we do in the newsletter is a really, really detailed version of one of those presentations. Uh, the newsletter is usually about 20 to 25 pages, tends to have somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 charts. Uh, by the way, you can access the newsletter on Substack at hugeinsights.substack.com. Okay, well, that's really good. Listen, we'll have you on again soon. Uh, so please uh, so keep, us in, keep us in mind because you uh, really have some great stuff. I, I really enjoy it, and I see a lot of stuff, and it's really first-class stuff. So we appreciate you showing up today like you always do. Sorry for my voice, but it'll get better. No problem. It reminds uh, it's always me today a pleasure, I, Larry. Okay, my friend. Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, folks. We'll have him back in a couple of weeks here. And uh, let's get on here with the show. We've got a couple of uh, things that are happening in the commodity markets that I think you need to pay attention to. At least you might have to pay attention to if you like to uh, eat bread and stuff like that. But I'm going to post a chart here, folks, that we've been waiting on for two weeks. Of course, we had just had a grain report here today. and But this is something that you want to be looking at for Monday because this is what uh, you know we believe in is when we're doing these charts. Oh, no, I give up. Ha <laughs> gee whiz. This is not fair. It's just literally not fair here. Uh, shucks, what's this going on? Uh, oh, it's uh, okay. Starting to weaken up here a little bit in the S&P. Sorry, folks, I got to turn off my machine here just a minute. I'm trying to get these charts up here, but I'm just flat not able to do it. So give me a give me a second and we'll Try to show you this wheat chart because it's a beauty. The question is, is it going to ever show up again or not? I doubt it, but we'll get it up here to see if we can get it, see if we can see it one more time. Nope. Disappear. Well, take a look at it when you get the newsletter this weekend, folks. It's about as symmetrical a chart as you could possibly ask for. This is what Bart Leone always talks about, and he'll be our guest on uh, on Wednesday. And uh, basically, it's uh, 13 days down, 13 days down. We're sitting right at the 78% level. And not only that, but I believe we've got a, uh, don't we have a big lunar cycle coming up here on Wednesday the 16th? So need to pay close attention to wheat between Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for a potential bottom in here. The report came out, and it had a pretty good rally. It rallied about 16 cents and then gave it all back on the close. So... It means that the bottom is not fulfilled yet, but it's probably getting pretty close, would be my explanation of what we're looking at. I'd like to post a chart on it, but it just won't come up. I'll get this fixed with Jake somehow. I don't know why it happens the way that it does, but it just does. And there's nothing else I can do about it. I'm going to try one more time, but it's not going to work. I know it's negative thinking, but what are you going to – oh, my goodness, shut the front door and raise the rent. Look at this thing. It actually worked. You can see here. The number of days down. So folks, this we've been waiting on this for two weeks. Look at it. This number of days down is 13 days. The 13th day is today. And look at the, the – the, they're, they're perfectly symmetrical. Now, you tell me that there's not something in these markets that has some symmetry that repeats over and over again. Now, this might fail very easily, but look at the – look. what would you rather do? Would you rather buy wheat up here or would you rather buy wheat down here? Look at this low right here. You go up and make a double top and then come back down again. Folks, if you remember, Kermit, just relax, Kermit. If you remember about a year and a half ago in May, okay, we were looking at wheat at $13.70 a bushel. Now it's $6.20 a bushel. Well, actually, less than that. Well, $6.20 was the low. Folks, you know, it's amazing to me. That, well, we've got to pay a few bills. We'll be right back.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted a chart like going back up the last seven days in soybeans, November soybeans. I want you to see that today's high was a 382 of the high we made seven days ago. Uh, this report came out, looked real bullish for about uh, 11 seconds, maybe less, and hit that number of 1338 and then dropped uh, over 40 cents, uh, like a little bit more. So it was a big wide range. If you didn't have your order setting right there, you wouldn't have gotten filled. And guess what, folks? I had my order setting there and I still didn't get filled. I missed it by a quarter of a cent. <laughs> Anyway, I shaded it a bit, but that's the way it goes. Anyway, we're going to be looking at some of these markets here. Remember, folks, that um, it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. Remember, the target on this move in the S&P is 30 handles away from where it is right now. That's down at 17, excuse me, 46.34. That's the big ABCD where we had the first 3A25 days ago. And now it looks like we're getting ready to see this unfold here on Monday. And whether it happens or not remains to be seen, but uh, that's what we're paying very, very close attention to, okay? And one other thing I wanted to mention is on the show on Monday will be Norm Winsky uh, Tuesday. Uh, I can't remember who I've got on. I think it's Paula Webb, but I'm not sure. Wednesday is Jim Bartolioni. A Thursday or Friday, we'll have Joe DiNapoli and the non-political version, of course. We'll just be talking about uh, stocks and commodities and things that... Maybe some of the old 
uh, departed friends that Joe and I have met through all the years. We met back in 1971 at the Conti building in um, West L.A. That's where all the traders hung out at the time. So now we've got to take the old clock on the wall and says it's time to wrap it up for the day and rest the old voice. So I want you folks to live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless and try to do something nice for your neighbor folks because not everybody has it as easy as we do. So very important. So may God bless. We'll see you on the flip side. <laughs>